Hello, welcome. What's up? <coughs> There's a hanging. It's bopping. There's a crackle acting, big smacking. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Yeah, hey, what's up? Uh, how you been? I'm thriving. This is like my fourth stream in a row. Uh, and I'm. Hi, Alexa. I think we'll care. I thought I'll fit right in, I think. You will definitely fit right in. Uh, I spent the last three days streaming very emotional visual novels, uh, and I'm very, very tired. A lot of emotions. Uh, I figured since I've got tonight free, I'm as well uh, just streaming again. I'm gonna play something chill. So this is a sample of Care, uh, a cute little story game uh, about a girl whose job it is to fix things uh, as she travels to a little town for a. Uh, what was it? I think it's a food festival, <clears throat> uh, and she helps out a couple families while she's there. And it's just a cute little game about fixing things. Then we'll spot in that visual novel, so I skip those dreams. That's fine. That's fine. Well, hopefully we can enjoy this food festival. Food festival, like eating things. All right, let's get started. Uh, I was gonna start us earlier, but I got distracted with some inspiration to finish my hand jumper AMV. So that's been finished and rendered and uploaded. It should be done by now. I'm being silly. In classic Alexa silly moment. So it's just me as this game really loud. Audio. I think that should be a bit better. Well, let's get started. It's only about an hour and a half long. It took me exactly 19 minutes to play it the first time. So let's get, so let's get started. After a year on the road, I thought I'd get tired of traveling. The endless clatter of railways, highways, and everything in between. But as my train pulled into the station at Bellariva, I felt every bit as excited as the first day of my journey. A whole year. It felt like a lifetime. The places I'd seen, the people I'd met, of course, the forgotten treasures I'd given a new lease of life along the way. Hi, welcome to this room. You, you're not very, you're not very late. I just started. I'm a restorer by trade. Bringing our most beloved possessions back to life is what I love to do. I'd been traveling for months. Working my way from one town to the next, fixing everything from family heirlooms to VCRs. Bella Riva was my chance to take a break. Unfortunately, that would have to wait until after I'd unpacked. Let's go. My ex studies restoration. Is that an actual job? I, I didn't think that was an actual job. My passport. Not many blank pages left now. I saw a guitarist wearing these Our at a show once. Ah, yeah, that makes more sense. Repair woman at your service. Put, put, put it I down. Check these sunglasses on my last stop. Hopefully, I'm cool enough to pull them off. A mystery box. My favorite overalls. These will never go out of style. I beg to differ, but yeah. My oh. parents took this after I made my first repair. Like a damaged horse statue. Like I mean, you, you do some you do some uh thing you're restoring in this game. I'm settled in. Fingers crossed, they get me some work. Yeah, you do some uh do some statue repairing in this game. But boom! Look at us unpacked. Easy. I'm so good at this. Finally, I'd made it to Bella Riva. I'd come for the food festival, taking place in a few days' time. It is a food festival. After living off TV dinners and instant ramen for the last few months, I was craving a decent meal. Of course, I'd need to earn enough money to pay for it, so I figured I'd head out the next day and find some work. My parents never wanted me to go. They wanted me to stay in their shop and have a simple, stationary life. I knew there was a world out there beyond the four walls of our antique store that I had to be a part of. I daydreamed constantly about the weird and wonderful places each of our antiques came from. 
I loved figuring out their stories, revealing the memories hidden beneath the screws and wires. I was put in an extra piece that wasn't originally there because they weren't able to reassemble it. That's a little funny. <laughs> My story in Bellariva began with a little girl and a voice she was longing to hear. Also, I just. I was reminded of this game recently because uh, there's this guy on TikTok who typically stores people's old games consoles, and I like immediately remembered this game. I, it was, I only played it a month ago, but it's really cute and wholesome, and I just really like it. I wanted to play it all on stream for you all, so you'd experience it again. It was my first it morning in Bella Riva, and I couldn't wait to leave my hotel and explore. It was a quiet town, its streets and alleyways basking peacefully in the hot morning sun. <laughs> it's a cozy game. Yeah, I got it during the wholesome game sale. I got I got it along with Sumire and a game for another, and I got unpacking as well. In the main square, meanwhile. Preparations were underway for the festival in a few days' time. It was only like a few quid, so I was like, fuck it, why not? And it, honestly, worth it, worth, worth every penny. As I handed out my flyers, I wondered what the people of Bella Riva would need me to fix. So far, everything here seemed perfect. I was starting to worry I'd made a mistake when I felt someone tapping me on the back. Hi, I'm Izzy. Do you know how to fix things? It was a little girl, maybe seven years old, who must have gotten hold of one of my flyers. She rummaged around in her backpack until she hauled out a battered red cassette deck. Good, so you run to I think I'm gonna get this one for yourself. Yeah, you totally should, it's really good. My tape is broken and I can't make it work anymore. Is that accent? Yeah, I, I, I can't really pinpoint what the accent is, but I'm terrible about that in general. I tried to fix it myself, <coughs> but there's this metal thing in the way. Can you try? Well, let's uh, let's get this thing started then. What is wrong with it? First of all, it probably needs some batteries. Ah, those batteries look like they need replacing. Yeah, look at this Luckily, thing. I have some spares. <clears throat> I'm a Brit fan. <laughs> Please don't say it like that. This thing, is the only thing wrong with this that it needs new batteries? I mean, that might be it. And just rewind Why this. Did you do that? She's not gonna answer her, apparently. Alright, and just slot that in. Let's see if this is working. When it finished, Izzy picked up the tape deck and tucked it carefully into her backpack. Thanks, Maria. You're the best person at fixing things ever. No problem. Who was that singing? They're very good. Are you winning? Hell yeah, I'm winning. It's my mom. She, she's not here anymore. Izzy trailed off. It was the kind of silence a cassette tape would never be enough to fill. Poor baby. When Izzy's friends called for her, she dug deep into her pockets, looking for something to pay me with. Eventually, she produced a grand total of... a stick of gum, three mismatched buttons, and a yo-yo. Who carries buttons in their pocket, anyway? I usually preferred a check, but Izzy looked so serious, I wrote out a full receipt. She seemed like a happy kid, but... Beneath it all, part Children. of her life had been I killed. guess, yeah. <clears throat> also, I'm extra chill, because the other day on, when I was coming home from a walk, I just found a tanner on the floor. So I spent some of that tanner on some snacks. So I have snacks now. I got a Mars bar ice cream, uh, some Pringles, and, and a crispy cake. And I've still got like a fiver left over, so I'm gonna go on a snack trip at some point. The part I wouldn't be able to fix. And repair what number one out of the way. Let us go. Yeah, here's the statue. We do a bit. We do a bit of statue repairing in this. My you first driving? repair complete. I spent the rest of the day doing small jobs in and around the square. 
I was exhausted when I got back to my hotel and found a message asking me to make one more visit. The address led me to a quaint little house, a stone's throw from the beach. Bathed in the evening light, it looked beautiful, in spite of its flaking paintwork and chipped tiles. The front door was opened by a harried-looking man, still dressed from a long day at the office. Are you Maria? My name's Joseph. I'm Isabel's father. I'm so sorry she bothered you this morning. Please, come in. I'd like to settle up properly. On the mantelpiece, I saw the remains of a broken statue. Without thinking, I picked up a fragment. Ah, my father's statue. What's left of it, at least? Yet another way I'd have disappointed him. I love the character designs in this game. Just look, look at them. Look at him. He looks so cool. They all look so cool. It survived a hundred years in this family. But five minutes with Isabel and... Do you think you can salvage it? So yeah, let's do some, uh, let's do some... Statue restoring. See if I'd pass your friend's class, Alex. I don't want people seeing the cracks. So you're just gonna glue that shit. Very nice artist style, I must say. Very satisfying. Hell yeah. The fixing is very satisfying as well. Let's see. Just a leg. Pop. Sometimes I think my daughter should come with a warning label. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Pop a little bit on here. Pop that there. The head back on. Is this glue really strong enough to hold everything together? I suppose it is. Boom! Look at that. Easy. Satchel restored. Thank you, Maria. It looks as perfect as it ever did. My father wanted me to make something of myself. He didn't have time for anything less. As Joseph put the statue back on the shelf, it nudged against the family portrait stood proudly next to it. So he was Bellariva's mayor. And that was Izzy's mom. They must both miss her so much. At least he made something of himself. You can't get much better than mayor. Excellent. So kind of reminds me of a children's storybook. I think it's a poster. She's going like she's going got that like uh you know that, that chill vibe to it. Probably it's the random worker who fixes it, your statue. I mean yeah. Sorry, I'm a little tired. I've been working late getting things sorted for the festival. There's only a few days to go. Looks like I'll be working late again. But listen, if they weren't if they didn't trauma dump on us like this. Then we wouldn't get we wouldn't get to nosy in on their life stories for the game. When I told my parents I wanted to leave, they always found an excuse to be busy, to avoid talking about it. I guess keeping themselves occupied was their way of pretending it wasn't happening. Listen, listen. She's she she fi she's a fixer. She fixes things. She fixes your stuff and also uh, your emotional problems. Joseph's work must have been taking up so much of his time. But maybe that was what he wanted. I just hoped he was finding enough time for Izzy, too. I don't do on Twitter. That's what I do. I don't think... I, I don't... <laughs> but I guess this game would be societally less interesting uh, if every character uh, just vented to, to dear girls on Twitter. My second day in Bellariva dawned bright and clear. Another beautiful sunny morning. I think here's what Bellariva is supposed to be based on. Walking into town, I passed cafes overflowing with customers cradling their morning coffees. I stopped, breathing in the smell of roasted coffee beans and freshly baked pastries. Is that how you get a girlfriend? Just trauma dump? I mean, to be fair, that's, that's something I know happens a lot with trans women, is that uh, we will just start just start trauma dumping on each other ten minutes after meeting. It's like you immediately advance to the end of their social. Uh, like, you immediately advance like ten levels in their social link with them, and immediately get their tragic backstory. I was about to go inside 
when the owner of Carmen's, the cafe next door, stopped me. Uh, hello, Maria? Were you here yesterday handing out flyers? I have a job for you. Her place was petite, tucked between its competitors as if hoping they wouldn't notice. Judging by the empty tables inside, though, her potential customers hadn't noticed it either. It's a bit slow today, but we're just getting started. <laughs> I'm sure it'll pick up soon. As Carmen chatted, she walked over to the counter and returned with an old rotary phone. Also, see, I, I just love all the character designs in this game. It's the art style is so good. I've got plenty of time to practice my recipe for the festival. It's a new special I've been working on. I was hoping to call my sister for some uh, seasoning tips, but it won't connect. Can you see if you can figure out what's wrong? <laughs> All right, let's take a crack at this then. Right, how do we take apart our phone anyway? Oh, well, we won't be needing that. You can fix it, can't you? I can't afford to replace it. I could sure try. Obviously, we'd normally be much busier than this. Sounds like cope to me. <laughs> Alright, but we don't need the casing. Jesus Christ, okay, that... This definitely looks like it needs to fix. Screw that back on. And it looks like the end side's gonna need some... Some as well. Oh yeah, how the fuck does this get so dirty? These oh, connections aren't quite right. I should check the wiring. Yeah, yeah. And that it's just messing a wire. How did you even manage this? There Looks we go. Like this new circuit board is all hooked up. That should be it then. Let's take this back on. Back on with the case. Screw it back in. And just plug this back in. There. You're good, isn't it? When I handed the phone back to Carmen, she seemed almost reluctant to take it from me. So it's all working now, is it? I don't have to leave it to dry or let it <laughs> cool down? Nope, it's ready to go. It'll be ringing off the hook in no time. That's if I can pay my phone bill anyway. <laughs> and the rent, and the suppliers. Anyway, take a seat and I'll be right with you. Your coffee's on the house. See, tra I mean, immediately trauma dumpling. Love that. I sat at one of the empty tables, while at the counter, Carmen had started dialing the phone. What's my favorite sister doing today? As she talked, Carmen became more and more tense. This didn't seem like a call for some cooking advice. I know I still owe you from last time, but I can't afford to take part in the festival if I don't pay. I could almost feel the eye roll at the other end of the line. You don't need to be here though. Can't you just put the check in the post? When the call ended, Carmen brought me my coffee, her hands trembling. Sorry about that. Uh, my sister's decided to fly in for a visit. Oh god, I have to get ready. Actually, I might have another job for you. Can you come by tomorrow? Boom, let's go. Second job done. Base people's relationship is apparently part of the job. Basically, yeah. You're, you're not- that, that's like part- that's like the appeal of the game. You get to help people and fix their stuff, and fixing stuff is very the satisfying. Next day, I'd promised Carmen I'd return to help her get the cafe ready for her sister's arrival. She also does cafe renovation as well, apparently. I was about to set out when I received an unexpected call from my hotel's reception desk. Apparently, another guest had asked for me by name. Curious, I took the creaking elevator up to the top floor and made my way to the room number they'd given. I knocked. Are you here about the camera? It's about time. See, I just I love all the fucking 
I love all the character designs in this game. They're so good. The woman in front of me was immaculate. Not a hair out of place or a crease to be seen. My sister tells me you know how to fix things. I'd usually go to an expert, of course, but in this town... Bye-bye, Alexa. <laughs> Have a good day. Have a good game for yourself. You absolutely should. Go get the game. Play it. Tell me how... DM Moon, tell me how it was. It's really, it's really good. Bye-bye. So this was Carmen's sister? The two of them couldn't have been more different. Inside her room, I saw a beautiful reflex camera. Any professional photographer's dream. The viewfinder is completely dark. I can't see anything through it at all. I assume you can figure out what's wrong. <laughs> Alright, let's restore this fancy-ass camera then. <clears throat> Our business is usually just take the screws out. I do love that uh, our girl's just got like a whole ass manual laying around in her bag for this specific brand of camera. Right, this lens. I've also found it weird you can just pop off camera lenses. I don't suppose you fixed anything this valuable before. Not to brag or anything. Oop, okay. The viewfinder is broken. That's probably why. How did you even manage to smash that? If I used the screwdriver, I could adjust the angle of the mirror. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Now the viewfinder should be working. I think this goes in here? Yeah. Boom. Look at that. Easy. Put these all back into place. Brilliant. Only fixing real things was this easy. Can I see the appeal that Clover sees of fixing old shit? Remember the last me? He does that occasionally. Yeah. I, I I almost see the appeal. I felt a pang of envy as I handed the camera to Helena. I put my disposable to shame. I picked it up on my first trip to Paris. It's a 1958 limited edition. Ooh la la. First of its kind. It cost me three months' salary. But it was worth it. <laughs> I had no idea what three months' salary meant to Helena, but I was pretty sure it was more than I could afford. To so you're, you're a freelancer. I'm, I'm, I'm sure she makes decent money. It was strange, Maybe. really, that we were even staying in the same hotel. I'd picked this place because it was cheap and cheerful, but surely she could afford somewhere better? She took some test shots, Oop. fiddling with the camera settings until she was absolutely satisfied. This work is immaculate. At least there's one person in this town who knows what they're doing. Sending you to me might be the first thing Carmen's actually gotten right. I wondered why Helena had bothered coming if she thought so little of her sister. I hear nothing from her for weeks, and then when she finally does call me, all she wants is money. If she thinks I'm lending her another penny, she'll have to convince me it's not a total waste of time. That didn't sound good. If Hurricane Helena was about to hit, I hoped Carmen was ready. Yep. She's fucked. But over to Carmen's little cafe to do the sun was terrier decoration. The Riva by the time I reached Carmen's cafe. From the outside, it looked as quiet as ever, but inside, I found Carmen cleaning like her life depended on it. Maria! Oh, don't mind all of this. If Helena finds one speck of dust in here, I'll never hear the end of it. Carmen seemed pleased to see me, but I sensed the fidgeting tension beneath each sweep of her mop. Trying to live up to the standards of someone like Helena seemed like an impossible task. I hope you didn't mind fixing the camera for her. She was furious when it broke. I really need this to go well. If she doesn't lend me the money, I don't know how long I can keep this place going. Carmen led me to a back room, where she'd laid out the components of what looked like a neon sign. I had this made when I first opened the cafe, but I'm hopeless with electronics. So there was supposed to be a sign outside. 
This might explain the lack of customers. And I don't think a single uh, neon sign is gonna attract anyone else. I'd like to put it up before Helena gets here. Can you give it a try? No, let's give it a chance. Let's give it a try then. Ba -ba -ba. All right, how does this thing work? First order business is always take out the screws. If you let me take out the screws, thank you. Take this off. Right. I think this means I need to okay, just glue on here. Stick this on. This is not gonna turn on if there's in it. The whole thing is supposed to light up. Yeah, I know. Relax, girl, I got it. I'm basically an expert at assembling neon signs. I think this goes here. Boom, there we go. See? Easy. I don't know, it's a bit uh, flat. Maybe if it flashes it'll really catch people's eye. Great idea. I think I have a spare part that could do that. Lucky us. Pop. Stick this along here. Uh. Now that should be it. Beautiful. It still needs something else. Maybe we can add one of these. Ooh, we got options. Alright, which one should we add? Ice cream, cocktail glass, or pizza? Hmm. Ideas? Ice cream. Ice cream it is. Put this on. I guess I need to put the new part in first. Pop. Glue this here. Alright, bread of wires. I think that should be our last demand. Oh, shit. Sneak that on. Screw this back in. Stick the ice cream on. Boom. Hit the lights. Beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> it works. I'll screw everything together again and you'll be set. There's my mouse. Thought I lost it for a second. The sign fixed, we had it outside and mounted it carefully over the cafe door. Oh, that's perfect, Maria. It looks just how I imagined it. When I had this sign made, it all seemed so simple. Oh, I can't believe I might have to give it all up. I hope I've done enough. The smile froze on her face as she spotted something over my shoulder. I turned to see. Ooh. Of course, my sister owns the only cafe in this entire town that isn't actually open. For better or worse, Helena had arrived. Oh boy. Carmen opened her mouth to explain, but Helena swept indifferently past her. Finally pausing in the doorway, she turned back towards Carmen. The first thing we're doing is getting rid of that hideous sign. Bro, I just need that. That's some respect, goddamn. that? She disappeared inside. I hoped Carmen's chances of saving the cafe hadn't disappeared with her. Why? Rip. But we have more fixing to do. This is the one. This is the one those game console videos made me think of. It was the day before the festival, and the whole town was busy getting ready. I had more work than I knew what to do with. When Joseph called with another job, I was craving the cool quiet of his and Izzy's seafront house. I barely the baby reached again. their front door when I heard someone calling me. Psst. Maria, I need your help. Quickly, it's top secret. It was Izzy. 
peeking out from the side of the house. She beckoned for me to follow her. She led me through to a beautiful, unruly garden, overflowing with flowers of every color. Nestled among them was a playhouse, its doorway almost completely obscured by a towering rose bush. You have to squeeze past it and breathe in real small, like this. Izzy took in a big gulp of air and crawled through the gap and into the playhouse. I hadn't planned on crawling in the dirt today, but the life of a repair woman never did run smooth. On the table inside, there was an electronic toy. Not exactly the usual stock in my parents' antique shop. I uh, had an accident. I didn't do it on purpose or anything, but uh, it won't turn on anymore. Can you fix it for me? Let's get cracking then. Just like this screen is cracking, Jesus Christ, girl. And the A button. <clears throat> Alright, well. Good news, the battery seems fine. We just, oh, we just pop it open. Doesn't seem like a particularly good idea. And this is fucked too. Just change that out. Actually, I'm probably sure I need to replace the button first. I need to remember how it was laid out. So let's see, pop this off. We went in. This over, I think it was this. And just slot that there. Boom, now just this fucked screen, I think. Oops. Right, pop this off. What's that right there for? I have no idea. Oh, I should probably replace the screen before we do anything else. Pop this in. Connect this to here, I think. This to here. Pop that on. And it should be working now. Oh, there we go. Suppose. Oh, there's a game here. Forest Adventure. Do grown ups play games as well? Yes, they're very cool. Can you show me how to play? I tried before, but it was so hard. Well, no way you're that young. You can't figure out how to play this. Like a chicken. Yeah, it's not a very uh, complicated game. Look at us go. Her toy fixed. I watched Izzy retreat into its screen, taking refuge in a three-inch world of her own. Well, I'd better head inside. Your dad is waiting for me. Please don't tell him about the game. He'll think I broke it on purpose. Why would he think that? Because, uh... Well, I kind of dropped it. Really hard. At the wall. Of course, I see. Izzy looked down, scuffing her shoes on the worn floor of the playhouse. Oh, baby. Said I have to go to this stupid festival tomorrow and put on a stupid dress, and I don't want to. All he cares about is working. He never wants to see me unless it's for his job. I'm not going. He can't make me. With that, Izzy dove back through the rose bush and disappeared into the wilds of the garden. She was so young. She couldn't be expected to see that her dad was struggling too. Her baby. It made me think. Had I really tried hard enough to understand my parents' point of view? I was so focused on the adventures ahead of me, maybe I didn't care enough about leaving them behind. That's right. You thought we were only gonna be seeing other characters? No, main character gets- she gets some- she gets some stuff too. She gets character development. 
We're getting lore. Getting the Mariah lore. Leaving Izzy hiding in the garden, I walked around to the front of the house and rang the doorbell. It was only then I noticed my favorite overalls covered in grass stains. I scrubbed desperately, but it was too late. Maria, what are you doing? What happened to your clothes? I was uh, repairing a lawn mower. Speech 100, let's go. Well, do come in. The job I've got for you is a little more delicate. Totally embarrassed, I walked into an orderly room filled with papers and ledgers. So this was his office. You must be so busy getting ready for the festival. Are you looking forward to it? Of course. It's traditional for the mayor to judge food from every cafe and restaurant in town. I mean, that sounds like a banger, uh, job. I'll be declaring the best chef in Bellariva by this time tomorrow. Speaking of which... He unclipped the watch from his wrist and very carefully handed it to me. I'll have a tight schedule to follow, but my watch stopped working a while ago. Could you see if you can make it tick again? Alright, so let's get working. <clears throat> this is another thing that reminded me of, uh... This game was this. Because, I think it was a few weeks ago, uh, I found my uh, Papa's old watch. Uh, it was like the one thing. I don't know, the shit up was the only thing I ever got from him after he passed away. And I figured, you know what? Uh, I should I should probably get this fixed. Because uh, when it was given to me... Oh! That doesn't seem good. But yeah, when it was given to me... Ah, the main plate has completely cracked. I'll need to replace it. Yeah, just a tad. The cogs look good, though. If I'm careful, I can reuse those. Right. Yeah, but it was given to me with a... Uh... Okay, over here. I just pull these off my hand. It was given to me, it was already out of battery. Uh, it'd probably been long been out of battery. I'm pretty sure my pap had a big collection of watches. Uh, so I ended up, yeah, so I ended up taking to a repair shop, uh, and getting it fixed. Well, just the battery replaced, but I was basically getting it fixed. Let me think of this game again. There we are. another reason I wanted to replay it. Are you sure it will all fit back together? Yeah, it should. I've not gone a day without this watch since my wife gave it to me. Up oh, there it is. Yeah, uh, I finally got I, I, I got it replaced and thankfully it worked just fine. Uh, so it's replaced the old watch I used to wear. Uh, my other watch is uh, not like protect, not like super fancy, uh, but it's solar powered, which is nice. I don't need to worry about the battery. That's good. Oh wait, shit! Yeah, not ticking yet. I forgot to connect something. Yeah, I'm just gonna wear the his watch until it stops ticking again. It's not fit together. Hmm. Oh, oh, that one's wondering what this was for. That should do it. There we go. Taking a bit fast, but it's not my problem. There. So I'm going to set it to the right time for you. As I handed the watch. 
watch back to Joseph, my fingers traced over the engraving on the back. I hoped fixing this was one small way I could help him move forward. I can't believe it's working, Maria. Thank you. My wife was a brilliant woman. Feeling this ticking on my wrist, it makes me feel like she's still here. Aww. Watches measure minutes and hours like they're infinite. I didn't know we had so little time. <laughs> Even with Isabel, I barely see her. And when I do, she acts like she hates me. We do love trauma dumping on the repair wheel. Just then, the phone rang. Even when he was at home, his work was never done. Uh, sorry, Maria. I have to take this. I'll see you at the festival tomorrow. As I left, I turned and saw him pacing the floor of his office, his watch glinting in the afternoon sun. I hoped its quiet ticking would at least bring him some peace during the busy days to come. So this game fulfills one of the uh, one of the human fantasies of being able to help people, uh, and because there there are some because we had a few games, they let you do the 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 evil options. Most people don't because they like helping people. Helping people just feels nice. When my last job of the day brought me to Carmen's apartment, the door was opened by someone I didn't expect to see, Helena. Sorry for inflicting this mess on you. Carmen's never seen a knickknack she doesn't want to buy, apparently. <laughs> Carmen's apartment was a little chaotic, but totally charming. It was easy to imagine her living in a place like this. It definitely wasn't Helena's style. She seemed more upmarket than flea market. I wondered why she was even here. We're having a clear out, or at least I am. Carmen's not helping. As usual. There's a market at the festival tomorrow. I'm selling some of these things to make her some money. She says she has nothing when there's all this stuff right under her nose. Helena stepped delicately past the items on the floor and reached down to pick up one from the pile. Look at this slide projector. Our parents treasured it, but Carmen treats it like a piece of junk. Can you take a look? And I get that though. Not- I hate throwing shit away. Alright, this is one of the harder levels. Let's see if I remember how to do this. So take this apart. Pop. What needs replacing? This bulb first off. That light bulb is completely smashed. Okay. I'll need to redirect the light to the lens at the top for the projector to work. What's even any of these end gear? Here, I think this goes here. There. Pop this on. Oh, we made like unpacking this again. Commons even managed to get a slide stuck in here. I can, I, funnily enough, I, I I actually bought this during the Wholesome Game Sale, uh, and I bought uh, Unpacking along with it. Oh, I just had it. There. Look at that. I was so excited when I moved to the city. Carmen, she looks so sad. Here's the clicker you'll need to attach. <laughs> God knows how Carmen broke that as well. Girl, you're too hard on her. Yeah, let's put this back together. Let's at least screw, put the screws back in. I think it's like it's very environmental storytelling. Yeah, I've I've played a bit of it. I actually got quite a few days in to it. I just never. I haven't finished it yet. The environmental storytelling is really nice, though. Just actually look at these photos. No. Oh. 
It, it, it scratch it simultaneously scratches that itch of just like chill games I really like. Uh well also uh, but it also activates that little part of my brain that gets very overwhelmed when presented with a really big task. Boom. When we were younger, Karma was always following me around. I suppose she looked up to me. Her cool older sister. She used to ask me when I was coming home. Oh, yeah. I was always too busy. Really are getting trauma dumped on. Can I hear this? So. was transfixed. Staring at the two young sisters the projector had brought glaringly into focus. I. I never meant to let her down. But you haven't, have you? You came all this way just to help with the cafe. Plus the money. <sighs> That's the problem. There is no money. I lost my job a few months ago. My savings are almost gone. I have nothing. What twist? I already knew Come that, but things, yeah. I'll throw my checkbook at her bad decisions and make them okay. But I can't. Not this time. You know, the funny thing is, I came here wanting to tell her the truth. But she's so infuriating. How can I ask her for help when all she cares about is herself? Helena fell silent, shrinking under the gaze of her younger self, projected onto the wall. We drifted so far apart when I moved away. It felt like the only thing keeping us together was my bank balance. Aww. I know I have to tell her the truth. It isn't fair. But I already lost everything else. <sighs> what if I lose her too? Aww. All right, only like three more jobs in the main story. It's time for the festival, baby. Let's go. The day of the festival finally came, and after all my hard work, I was ready to put down my tools and pick up a fork. The smell as I entered the main square was incredible. Each stall was selling food even more delicious than the last. The competition would start any minute. Most stall holders were waiting anxiously for the mayor to pay them a visit. All of them, that was, except Carmen, who was still frantically chopping vegetables and stirring pots. Maria! <gasps> Thank God you're here! Can I ask you the world's biggest favor? <laughs> Carmen moment. Helena was supposed to help me run the store today, but she never turned up. Probably too ashamed to show her face. I can't believe she lied to me. Carmen was stirring so furiously, she was in danger of tipping the pot over altogether. The mayor will be here any minute for the judging, but I'm almost out of my special. She wasn't really going to ask me, was she? Not on my day off. I have a stove ready to build and everything. Can you set it up and make me a spare batch? It's not even ready. You haven't, you haven't set up the stove yet. Oh boy. I have to do so much more shit in this game than I qualified for. Right. This seems like self explanatory at least. No. Pop this on here. This on here. Should do some more chill streams more often. It all fits. Now to light the gas. It's nice just to chill. You know. Oof. Probably shouldn't leave that laying there like that. I'm just sitting listening while I draw. Hell yeah. It's chill for all of us. Let's pull this in. Guess I need to. I guess pull this in now. This here. 
or in the broth at least. All right, put the broth on here. This thing's constructed. It's constructed, it's on. Oh, there we go. Now he's letting me pull it in. Beautiful. Look, got the other broth on. I think that pot is really boiling now. Smells great, if I say so myself. Here are the ingredients that Carmen's given me. What to add first? Oh yeah, I forgot we have to cook this as well. And it's the recipe smeared to. Okay, let's see. Paint of stock. We've already done that, I think. Quarter stick of. I'm assuming that's butter, it's the only... Yeah, I'm assuming it's butter, it's the only thing around here. That's like a quarter of a stick, right? Maybe one more. Dude, that's like a quarter of a stick. Half a carrot? Yeah, I'm assuming that's just half a carrot. Oh, her recipe is a bit smudged. Never mind. I'm sure whatever I put in will be fine. Yeah, just trusting me with this. Your fucking life here. Yeah, that's basically half a carrot. Two bits of broccoli. Handful of chopped tomatoes. That looks good. I'll scoop a spoonful when I'm ready to serve. I can't believe she's just trusting us with this. Yeah, it's like a handful. Test the process will be fine. Probably. Yeah, probably. Free will mushrooms. Why did you even give me this? This is half a mushroom. So I should put in six. So this is soup anyway. Yeah, wild veggie soup. Plenty of... You can't even make out that last word. I'm assuming it says onion, because there's nothing- she's didn't give me anything else, so I'll just dump in all the onions. No, just all of it. You can have all of it. There, boom! Beautiful. Probably tastes fine. Look at us go! Four season soup. Carmen took over and added the finishing touches. It was just in time, and a moment later, Joseph arrived with Izzy in tow. Carmen anxiously handed them both a serving. Well, moment of truth. Did we fuck it up? Hope not. That was so tasty. Can I have some more, please? Looks like we did well. Well, you've certainly earned yourself a loyal customer in my daughter. We have a few more meals to taste, but so far you are one of the best. Good luck. Let's go, we did it. Joseph and Izzy looked so happy together. <laughs> Maybe the festival was doing them some good after all. Carmen, on the other hand, seemed annoyed. But why, when it had all gone so well? I wish Helena was here to see this. She's so convinced I'll never succeed at anything. She wants what's best for you. She's just not very tactful about it. Yes, I, I, I know, I know. Even when I was a kid, she pushed me when no one else did. I just wish she hadn't lied to me. But then, I've asked so much of her over the years, I never stopped to think how much she actually had to give. She must have told her then. Well, oh. Two more, and then the final one. Maybe three more? I don't remember which one of these is the... There's a bonus chapter. Uh, sort of an epilogue. Uh, we'll play for that as well. The festival finished. I only had one day left before I had to catch my train and leave Bella Riva behind. I couldn't go without saying goodbye to Carmen. So that evening, I made my way to the cafe. It was unrecognizable. She'd done it. Best food in Bella Riva. Woo! Half the town was outside waiting to see what the fuss was about. Let's go, fry them. 
my favorite sous chef come on through it was carmen acting every inch the successful cafe owner she deserved to be no. even helena was there serving the coffees this was the last place i expected to see her after yesterday's drama carmen led me through to a balcony upstairs where she brought out an old record player i found out where helena was on the day of the festival she was selling her camera to clear the cafe's debts oh. but then she didn't have much left for herself so i've asked her to come and stay with me for a while we have a lot of catching up to do oh. i love this game it's so wholesome i wanted to give her this to cheer her up we listened to it all the time when we were kids do you think it has one last tune in it it certainly will when we're done with it let's give it a go all right, pop this okay, off. Okay, let's see what happens when we turn this on. Probably not good, but... The speaker isn't connected properly. I should check right. the wiring. <laughs> Did you manage that? Oh, this thing just pops apart. Here's the problem. This wiring isn't connected properly. Hmm. Well, we've got some spare wires, so that should probably help. Hmm. I think this can work. Okay, there we go. I think this is plugged on to the wrong thing. Oh, there we go. That did something. Pop these back together. The speaker isn't connected properly. I should check the wiring. Okay. Well, that's connected to the right thing. Where does this go? Not to there. Hmm. Is that. Wait, hold on. Oh, the easy yeah, little symbols. The volume up, I should be able to hear it now. This is the volume. Pop these back together. The speaker isn't connected properly. I should check. Oh no. Okay, we need power. I guess we connect this to here. Oh yeah, boom. I there we go. I think that should do it. This right. record should play beautifully. Fourth time. Oops. Fourth time's the charm. Hmm, it's spinning the wrong way. How can I get it to play the right direction? It must be to do with the motor. Let's see if one of these spares can turn down. Oh, boom. So I think I turned it up too fast. Pop these off. Model U5 7. I'm just gonna try both of them and see how it goes. Pop off the band. Ah, this one should do it. Now connect this up, put the band back on. And this should work, isn't it? Well, it's playing in the right direction. I should check it's turning at the correct speed. That was good to me. That's not the right direction, is it? Mess with something else in here. All seems fine, doesn't it? What will remain of these days? 
sounds good to me. I should try the other motor. Is this one? Let's try this. motor doesn't seem to work. Maybe I'll have better luck with a different one. Okay, no. Not the motor. Get that off. Yeah, it's definitely this motor. Wire that up. Everything is green. Looks like something is still missing. Oh, the camp? Oh. There we go. The record player's crackling tune must have caught Helena's ear as she appeared a few moments later. Is that my old record player? I can't believe you've kept it all these years, Carmen. No. Leaning over the music, they looked just like the young sisters the slide projector had preserved all these years. Inseparable, once again. That's adorable. I love this game. Carmen told me about your camera. That was a really generous thing to do. I loved that camera, but I love my sister more. Now it's her time to be the person she wants to be. I'm going to stay here with her for a while. Make up for lost time. Carmen and Helena's relationship wasn't suddenly going to be perfect, but they were both prepared to try. And to think, it had all started because of a call Carmen made about some seasoning tips. I guess in the end, maybe it wasn't so hard to just pick up the phone and dial. I hadn't spoken to my own parents in a year. I wanted to hear their voices more than anything. But the silence between us was so cavernous. I didn't know how I'd ever find the words to bridge it. Before we do that, we gotta go check in on the other two. Gotta wrap up Father's Reprise. My final morning in Bella Riva, I received one last call out to Joseph and Izzy's house. I knew I had to pack. But I figured I could squeeze in one final job before I had to leave. Hey girl, you've got like six things in your in your suitcase, won't you be okay? When I arrived, I found Joseph tidying up his wilderness of a garden. The playhouse was already cleared. Inside, I could see Izzy happily testing out her screw driving skills on the back of her cassette deck. No, we already have a new little repair woman. You've made quite the impression. Isabel. <laughs> Izzy. Tells me she's going to be a repair woman like Maria. That's adorable. <laughs> I'm sure she could be anything she wanted if she put her mind to it. She could. She's a brilliant child. Spending the day with her at the festival, I haven't had so much fun in ages. I wanted to give her something before she starts to forget. Inside, the house was transformed, flooded with light and the sounds of the garden. It felt alive again. This would be my last repair in Bellariva, but it felt like it was the house that had really been restored. It's a music box. It used to play beautifully, but now when I wind it up, nothing happens. I'd love for Izzy to hear it sing again. Can you help? All right, let's take a crack at it. Music box repairs. Let's try it first off. Okay, there's your first problem. Nothing happens when I open it. Right. Oh, cute. Okay. 
First off, some screws, take them out. Usually step one of taking something apart. Except my mouse for some reason. I tried taking it apart a little while ago to see if I could get the scroll wheel working again. It's kind of effy sometimes. Uh, for some reason you have to like tear off the stickers. Not stickers, the, uh, like, the grip pads at the bottom. You had to like pry those off and there wasn't really a way to do it gracefully. Oop. Okay, there we go. There's the insides. And I suppose we should take this off too. Leave no screw on. Leave no screw still screwed in, I suppose. Maria, could you add this family picture of us? No. Oh, well, that's not disappoint. So let me put this in, that is. <clears throat> I guess that's a later job. Let's get the thing actually working this first. mechanism is completely broken. I'll need to take it all apart before I can fix it. Luckily Maria, luckily Maria happens to have every spare part known to man on her. Pop this off. Take this out. Replace it. Just straight up missing some cogs. That'll probably not help. Does that work now? Let's swap these to try that now. There we go. It was a little finicky, but really has a nice gun. Pop this in here. Perfect. I'm pretty sure that was the song from the cassette the as well. Mechanism is good as new. On. Take it back in. Oh, I need the glue. Glue this family photo back in. Boom. Put this back on. Now let's just make sure this thing works. Missing this little, little dub. Question is, how do I get that on? Ah, we can take it out from here. Slot that in. And beautiful. Okay, it was never broken. Put this on the bottom. Screw the screws back in. Stick the little drawer back Still in. Still a few parts missing. What do you mean it works? Look. My wife used to sing this song to Izzy each night before bed. I know it was the song for Cassette. I too late to join them. No. When you dream my dream for me, and I sit by your side and hold you so tight, know that I will. Don't make me sad, god damn it. I've missed so much already. I want to be the father my wife wanted me to be. I've ended up so much like my own father. Working all the time. Izzy needs me more than that. Especially now it's just the two of us. My daughter comes first. Well, until she gets bored of her stuffy old dad anyway. Is that already? <laughs> It, 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 we get a happy ending, though. I'll never ever get bored of you, Dad. Is
Lizzie came running into the room where Joseph scooped her up and onto his shoulders. She gazed at the music box, her eyes shining. I've never seen her look so happy. Thank you, Maria, for everything. The things you fixed for me, I'm so glad to have them back. Yeah, but also promotion for Jeff. Fuck off. Possible vanavator, yeah. I don't need listen man, I don't need no fucking view bots. I'm perfectly happy vaping as it is. Joseph was a good father, and I could tell he was determined to be an even better one. When it came down to it, that was all any of us wanted. A second chance to make something right. My time in Bellariva was almost over, but before I left, I knew there was something of my own I needed to fix. Let's go. Finally, some Mariah character development. For our pack, and we got a pack. All the stuff we unpacked like an hour ago. My time in Bellariva was almost at an end. Another chapter finished in a story whose ending I hadn't felt ready to write. The people I'd met, the items I'd restored, they'd taught me so much about what was really important. Pulling out my suitcase from beneath the bed, I remembered the day I stole it from my parents' shop. The day I left. Afterwards, I was too ashamed to call them. To apologize, it was a guilt I'd been carrying around every day since. As I packed, I knew that it was up to me to find a way to lighten the load. Yeah, you call your parents, girl. One more relationship we gotta fix. I think it's adorable, all the stuff you bring back. Oh. The recipe for Carmen's special. I'm under strict instructions to guard it with my life. Camera photo again. Well, uh, baby photo again. My parents would love Bellariva. Maybe I can convince them to make the trip. History of watches. From the mayor. Joseph's idea of light reading for the train. It does look thorough. Wolves again. Helena gave me these designer shirts. Not sure I'll pull them off as well as she does. Passport and train ticket. My train ticket. Can't believe it's time to leave Bellariva behind. Well, baby dinosaur. Izzy gave me this in exchange for my repair manual. She'll be a pro in no time. Walkman. The soundtrack to my travels. I'll be listening to this on the journey. And headphones for said Walkman. Is it Walkman or Walkman? Is there a difference? I don't think it matters. was full, but it was my heart that felt heavy as I made my way to the station. I was sorry to be leaving Bellariva behind. But I hoped that, in my own small way, I'd made a difference. Helena and Carmen's reunion was possible because they'd learned to overcome their differences. Joseph had realized he shouldn't let his grief or his work get in the way of his relationship with Izzy. I noticed that it was second where you said it. Walkman. Not Walkman. They'd each learned to see things from someone else's perspective. Maybe it was time I saw things through my parents' eyes. I knew it would be easier to jump on the next train, put even more distance between us, but I finally felt ready to talk to them. I just didn't know if they would feel the same. Do they even remember their number? I wasn't sure until I reached for the phone and it all came flooding back. Mom? Dad? Maria? Is that you? God, I love this game. Worth every penny I spent on it, I swear to god. There's a long list of credits, too. Listen, the, the artist, like, the art, the voice acting, the story, like, it's all so good. The gameplay is super satisfying, too, just a little finicky. It's got a huge team behind it though. 
Or at least it seems huge when you're presenting the credits like this. It's not actually that many people, especially when, uh... Hey, what was this? Let's see. And we're as well playing the epilogue level, just for funsies. Around at the story. It only came out recently. Dear Maria, come in here. Sorry I haven't written. The cafe's been absolutely manic since you left. Luckily, I have Helena here to help. You wouldn't recognize her. She's like a new woman. She's always running around, taking orders and making drinks. I even heard her compliment a customer on their outfit. Personally, I draw the line at fluorescent green bowling shirts, <laughs> but each to their own. It certainly made the customer smile. She misses the city, though. Bellariva's many things, but it's definitely not as chic as she'd like. She said there was a coffee shop near her old apartment where they made coffee with a shape drawn on top. It got me thinking, I'm an award-winning chef. I can figure out how to put a leaf on a cappuccino. A bit of cosmopolitan coffee might be just what Helena needs. Of course, ordering a new coffee machine was the easy part. I wish you could have seen the mess I got into trying to put the thing together. Let's go, let's try and assemble a coffee machine. Okay. Um... First things first, unscrew this. I saw Maria use her screwdriver a million times. Taking this apart will be easy. I'm, uh, totes easy. That's all. Uh, where does this go anyway? We're not missing any. We are missing some screws. Pop this out too. Oh, there's so many things here. I have found a place for that board. Okay. Um. Let's start by putting the pipes in place. That's probably easiest. Don't put it down. I'm gonna like a manual here. I'll need to connect all the pipes correctly to stop the steam pouring out. This up here. There. Why is there so much steam? That can't be right. It's probably not. Um. What did I do? I'm oh, just a moment. My mum finally got home. What's this? I have a feeling this. It's not. Hmm. I feel like this is okay. This goes on here. So we're getting places. We're getting places. Okay, this goes here. That means this pops on top here. That just leaves. These bits. The pipes are all connected, but there's Boom. still steam everywhere. Something's in the wrong place. What did I? Oh, these are in the wrong. This is the wrong way around. There. Finally, no more steam. You're gonna have to wire everything up. Okay, let's see. Coffee to three, light Tyson to two, and electricity to one. Okay. 
So it's gonna then connect one. Nope. So I connect one to this here. Yeah. Boom. Light goes to two. That leaves we're free to go here. Okay, okay, we're getting places, we're getting places. I assume we just connect up. Yeah, we just connect up the little symbols last. Boom. That should be it. I hope. I'm just take this all back together now. Put the screws back in. This in. Uh, and fix the screws at the back here, and we should be done. Boom. I think that's everything. Better test the buttons just to make sure. Naturally. That's not light. I think that's cream or steam. I don't know. I don't know a lot about coffee, honestly. That looks good. All done. Piece of cake. Time to make my first coffee, I think. Oh boy, let's go. I get to pretend I know how to make coffee. Okay, I think this goes on here. You put this under it. Press the button. Boom, look at me. I'm a genius. Delicious. Now to make it look magical. Yeah, let's, let's try the let's try being your leaf version. Right. Boom. That's like. Basically, a leaf, right? A perfect coffee. All it needs is a saucer and a couple of Helena's favorite biscuits. Boom. Beautiful. <laughs> I did my best. Uh... Yeah, it's not my best leaf. It's fine, it's fine. I was feeling more sure she'll understand. than coffee queen by the time I'd made a drink fit for human consumption. It looked a bit, uh, mm, postmodern, but knowing Helena's refined tastes, I hoped she'd think it was intentional. Yeah, it's, uh, it's avant-garde. Uh, you see, it's a critique on the, uh, it's a critique on the modern art industry. Uh, and the constant expectation of being perfect in the corporate world. It's all very deep, I assure you. Always the connoisseur. She didn't even bother to look at it at first. She was so busy wafting it under her nose. <laughs> Steamed up her glasses, of course. How was she going to see my work of art through an eye full of fog? Shut no. Listen, I am, listen, I have a very niche talent of being very good uh, at making up just complete, at just making up complete bullshit to sound artsy farsy. That I learned for many years of art in English class. Let me have this. When she finally spotted it, though, she was totally impressed. See, told her, an avant-garde. I'll admit, she spent several minutes trying to figure out exactly what it was I'd drawn. She decided it was probably a horse. <laughs> well, what she doesn't know won't hurt her. It's abstract. She was impressed enough to ask for another one. I guess I'll need to get some practice in. The whole thing was such hard work, Maria. I never realized how difficult it was, all that mechanical stuff. It made me realize how much I have to thank you for, so <laughs> I wanted to say that now. Better latte than never! <laughs> Bro. <sighs> Hoping you're well. Your friend. Carmen. Aww.
and that was a sample of care. Uh, yeah, just a, a cute little uh, vibey stream for tonight after the uh, emotions of the last few nights. Uh, yeah, uh, I can't stream the next few days. I'm running Call of Cthulhu tomorrow. Comes uh, birthday on Wednesday, and I got more D and D on Thursday. So I might stream on Friday. We'll see. This technically counts as my my second stream of the week, so Sunday. But I should probably I I might just say fuck it. I'm getting back into like proper streaming, so maybe I'll do Friday and Saturday if I can be arsed when I put the time. But yeah, uh, I'll see you guys then. Until then, bye!